so this is the incident white light so since it is white light it means that it is having it is the combination of different wavelengths it is having all the wavelengths within itself now it passes through a glass prism abc do i read diagram to show the emergent beam as it falls in the screen d so this is the incident ray this is the angle of incidence this is the angle of refraction okay after it gets refracted from here and then after that it uh, again ref gets refracted from the second side and this it comes out as uh, emergent ray however this diagram is not going to work and this diagram is not correct because this diagram is not asked only in the question what they are asking is they are asking the emergent beam so since the word beam is used so that means it is a collection of rays so basically you have to show how the white light has split into different colors so this is the splitting of white light into different colors and this is what should be shown now here one modification has to be done is that the screen is like this okay so it's like de so we have to okay so we have to neglect you know so so it should be something like this on the screen web gear like that okay <clears throat> now write the phenomenon involved and its cause so the phenomenon involved here is going to be dispersion and dispersion is going to be caused due to refraction okay the process involved is refraction and this refraction causes the splitting of light now how does this refraction cause the splitting of light this also we'll understand okay so we have um by snell's law so we write 1 into sin i because air has refractive index of 1 this should be equal to mu into sin r now mu for different colors it's different so this mu depends on the wavelength of light now how it depends so there is a cauchy's theorem that theorem is in there in our syllabus so there's a cauchy theorem which tells that mu is equal to mu not plus a divided by lambda square and so on and so forth so point is that whichever lambda is less so lambda is less the refractive index is going to be more that the cauchy theorem states but we don't have to justify it using the cauchy theorem we have to justify here by seeing the diagram okay so now if you see um okay so here we draw the normal okay now we are taking two rays okay so for ray 1 and for ray 2 now this is the normal so now if you see for ray 1 the angle is more for ray 2 the angle is less okay and obviously we know that this is uh, the red ray and this is the violet ray as we have as you know it's obtained in the diagram okay of the beam which is emergent so here if you see we can we can write that angle of refraction for violet is less than the angle of refraction for the red ray now since refraction angle is less for violet so therefore the mu of violet will be more than the mu of red ray okay because mu into sin r is going to be constant so if sin r or if r increases 
then mu is going to decrease and vice versa. So therefore, here we can justify it that since okay, since the angle of refraction for violet is less than the angle of refraction for red therefore mu of violet should be greater than mu of red okay and thus we can we can tell that the refractive index of violet is more so that's how we justify the answer okay so in summary we have to draw the emergent beam so our diagram our diagram should look like this and then the phenomenon is dispersion which is caused due to refraction refraction is occurring at two sides of the prism and since the angle of refraction for violet is less so therefore the refractive index is more for violet and this is also you know like in in uh, so in the Cauchy's theorem also we see this so violet is basically 400 nanometer red is 700 nanometer so lambda is increasing and therefore uh, so here lambda is decreasing and mu is increasing so mu for violet is going to be the most thank you